for the annual end the Fed protest. It really means a lot to see so many different faces, cultures, and creeds. What end the Fed does is pretty much bridge a gap, which is fascinating to see from the outside perspective of people from the constitutional aspect, from the Occupy aspect, uh, from the libertarian aspect, from the constitutional aspect, even from the Republican and Democratic aspect. And the Fed breaks all the political barriers, and it's a beautiful sight to see. And there's so much potential, and there's so much growth. But people have to understand, even though that there's not that many of us here today, that potential and that possibility is still within all of us to make this a major issue within not only the election, but within our children's future. Because we know our lives and also our future is dictated by this private crony Federal Reserve banking system. My only word of advice is use the talents, use the skills that you have to express yourself and to go after tyranny, face off. Life is short, but it's worthwhile once you make a stand for something that's just. Now we know we may not be successful sometimes. We know this fight is an uphill fight. We know it's hard. But if it wasn't, it wouldn't be worth fighting. And that's why I'm here with you guys today, because I know the possibility of freedom, of true liberty, of not having a private Federal Reserve banking system rule over us is there. And, with, and it's within all of us to spread that education, to spread that information that can free all the world. And that freedom is within our hearts, is within our minds, but don't forget, it's within our potential to grasp at any time we want. So grasp it, run with it, have fun with it, and explore your skills to do as much as you can with it. Life is short, and again, decide how you want to live it. That's all I pretty much have to say on the top of it. Woo! There you go. Yeah.